Panopticon. Well, okay, wait, 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 this, this triggers the fuck out of me. Panopticon. I can speak up on this. This triggers the fuck out of me. The Guardian, March 13th. Swedes are expected to prepare for emergencies. Coronavirus shows why Britons should be too. March 23rd, The Guardian. Swedish PM warned of a Russian roulette-style COVID-19 strategy. March 24th, Financial Times. Sweden bucks global trend with experimental virus strategy. March 25th, Deutsche Welle. Coronavirus. Sweden still skiing despite concerns. March 28th, The New York Times. In the coronavirus fight in Scandinavia, Sweden stands apart. March 29th, Fox News. Sweden remains open as other countries lock down with the coronavirus. March 30th, CNBC. No lockdown here. Sweden defends its more relaxed coronavirus strategy. March 31st, The Sun. Sweden is the last country in Europe not on coronavirus lockdown. As PM says, let's behave like adults. April 3rd, Telegraph. Sweden is risking a lot as its coronavirus experiment comes under strain. April 5th, Daily Mail. Scientist leading Sweden's battle against coronavirus says Britain's lockdown has gone too far, as his country allows bars, restaurants and schools to remain open. April 7th, New Statesman. Why Sweden is Europe's coronavirus outlier and what it means. April 9th, Vox. Sweden's government has tried a risky coronavirus strategy. It could backfire. April 13th, ABC News. As virus deaths rise, Sweden sticks to low-scale lockdown. April 14th, Fox News. Sweden avoids wide-reaching coronavirus lockdown despite other countries' tougher actions. <coughs> um, there are really only two things that we know to be true. One is that no one knows uh, the true number of infected because we can only, in the absolute best case, uh, know the confirmed cases of people that we've actually tested. Uh, and once you start to layer in this uh, autocratic, or I would argue more authoritarian, uh, type of policy structure, um, what you end up seeing is that instead of policy being guided by science and facts, uh, you begin to see things like information releases uh, becoming political decisions. April 15th, The Guardian. Critics question Sweden's approach as coronavirus death toll reaches 1,000. April 16th, Telegraph. Sweden has shown how not to tackle coronavirus as it fights now to save face. April 17th, Project Syndicate. The grim truth about the Swedish model. April 21st, Foreign Policy. The hidden flaw in Sweden's anti-lockdown strategy. April 24th, Forbes. Sweden health chief admits it's not over as coronavirus cases leap. April 26th, The Times. Anders Tegner the man who convinced Sweden not to go into lockdown. April 27th, Euronews. Sweden's coronavirus strategy. Is the older generation paying the price? April 30th, Daily Mail. Sweden's top virologist admits mistakes in reacting to coronavirus as country records second highest number of daily infections but refusing to introduce lockdown is not among them. May 1st, The Guardian. Has Sweden's coronavirus strategy played into the hands of nationalists? 
May 4th, Business Insider. The architect of Sweden's decision not to have a coronavirus lockdown says he still isn't sure it was the right call. May 5th, Counterpunch. Brutal choices. Anders Tegnell and Sweden's herd immunity goal. May 7th, Telegraph. The treatment of Sweden's old and vulnerable is a catastrophe. May 12th, Financial Advisor magazine. Sweden revises COVID strategy after deaths of elderly spiral. May 13th, Washington Post. Sweden's coronavirus strategy is not what it seems. May 14th, the Swedish model is a failure, not a panacea. May 15th, Newsweek. Scientist behind Sweden's coronavirus strategy says lockdown obviously would have reduced death toll in short term. May 17th, France 24. Sweden's COVID-19 strategy has caused an amplification of the epidemic. May 18th, Telegraph. Let's not romanticize Sweden's ill-prepared and adrift coronavirus response. May 19th, the Australian Financial Review. Swedish model trades more disease for less economic damage. May 20th, the Mercury News. Swedish antibody study shows little sign of herd immunity. May 21st, The Guardian. Just 7.3% of Stockholm had COVID-19 antibodies by end of April, study finds. May 23rd, The Times. Anders Tegnell, the man behind Sweden's no-lockdown coronavirus strategy. Um, Now, this is not new. Uh, In fact, the the Spanish flu around 1918 um, (laughs) did not actually originate in Spain. Uh, It was actually spreading uh, in World War I through the trenches, uh, where everybody was in terrible conditions. But the militaries of the day had imposed restrictions on what the press could report uh, that could impact the war effort. And so Spain, being a neutral country, uh, was publishing uh, what what they were actually seeing in their country. And so we just presumed, uh, because they were the only ones that were telling the truth, uh, that it came from them. May 24th, The Guardian. Sweden wrong not to shut down, says former state epidemiologist. May 25th, The Sun. Sweden's coronavirus death toll tops 4,000, as former state experts says country wrong not to shut down. May 26th, The National. Swedish epidemiologist is sent death threats for COVID-19 response. May 29th, Wired. Sweden's coronavirus experiment has well and truly failed. June 2nd, Financial Times. Swedish expert admits countries should have had tighter coronavirus controls. June 3rd, BBC News. Coronavirus. Sweden's Tegnell admits too many died. June 3rd, The Guardian. We should have done more, admits architect of Sweden's COVID-19 strategy. June 4th, Washington Post. Scientist behind Sweden's COVID-19 strategy suggests it allowed too many deaths. June 4th, RT. Anders Tegnell was a god among anti-lockdowners. Who will they worship now that he admits he was wrong? June 7th, The Sun. Top Swedish scientist denies branding coronavirus ravaged countries' refusal to lock down a failure. June 8th. Boston Herald. Sweden backtracks on its low-pain coronavirus plan. June 9th, Daily Mail. Sweden's coronavirus plan has failed miserably, opposition politicians declare, as they call for the country's chief epidemiologist to quit. June 10th, Bloomberg. Sweden's Covid strategist drops daily briefings amid scandal. June 11th, New Statesman. How Sweden's herd immunity strategy has backfired. 
June 17, Fortune. Sweden's top epidemiologist at a loss to explain why herd immunity is going surprisingly slow. June 17th, Telegraph. Sweden surprisingly slow at achieving herd immunity, study finds. June 18th, Daily Mail. Just 6.1% of Swedes have developed coronavirus antibodies, study finds despite country's hopes of achieving herd immunity by foregoing lockdown. June 21st, Business Insider. Sweden's herd immunity hopes are fading, as only a small fraction of the population has coronavirus antibodies. June 23rd, Foreign Policy. Sweden's coronavirus failure started long before the pandemic. June 24th, Bloomberg. Sweden's Covid expert says, world went mad with lockdowns. June 25th, Reuters UK. Loved and loathed, Sweden's anti-lockdown architect is unrepentant. (laughs) Now we're a little further ahead than that today, but that doesn't erase the fact that people in power who see that there is a political advantage to disguising or concealing or massaging or denying uh, numbers may choose uh, to lie about it. It's happened before and it's almost certainly happening now.